सो यू माइड बी थिंकिंग वेयर वॉज आई लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू सो गणेश चतुर्थी बींग इन द कॉर्नर एंड हैविंग गुड अमाउंट ऑफ हॉलीडेज कमिंग माई वे आई डिसाइडेड टू आज फॉर माई अंकल्स ओन रॉयल इन फील्ड एंड द फैक्ट दैट ही हैड नेवर एवर गिवन इज बाइक टू एनी वन मेड मी फील नर्वस Finally it was 30th of August with lots of courage i made a call to him asking for the keys of his own royal enfield phir phir kya hua phir phir kya agle din apne mohalle mein aishwarya aayi you guys already know how big of a fan i am when it comes to royal enfields and this was the time i was completely prepared to play with this beast till the time i had the keys So there we go. We have the Royal Enfield Classic 350 in our hands and I am just trying to prepare myself because we have planned a trip which is a trip to Uran Beach and I don't want any mistake to happen from my side. So let's uh, get familiar with the gear shifts and all the stuff. There came another twist. Yep, it didn't start. And the fact that I had ridden the same bike in the morning with absolutely no problem was quite annoying. Hush, so the problem is finally fixed. The problem was in the battery of the Royal Enfield and we have charged it. It was completely drained yesterday. I don't know how it happened completely suddenly I would say. but yes the problem is solved but the sad fact is that i had to return this bike on the same day so yes it is one thing but i have learned from this uh, one thing that uh, when you can't do great things do small things with great way it just means that uh, i am supposed to travel from one j- destination to another or from one place to another destination but sometimes it's not about the destination it's all about the journey i have noticed that uh, people enjoy the vlog uh, people enjoy the journey of the vlog rather than the destination uh, it also applies to my devkut vlog as well so it it's just about the journey sometimes and it's just about you enjoying the particular moment experiencing great amount of thump and the power of 349 cc in my hands is what i have been craving for this days beautiful roads of new mumbai as usual and what could i ask for more the proud feeling you get after sitting on the bike with your arms wide and straight back is the feeling i crave for that's the reason i guess it's not just in field it's a royal in field because the feeling you get and the charm of the bike is completely next level no ktm can do the same thing no ninja can do the same thing no ayabusa can do the same thing what a royal enfield can do to your mind and uh, that been said this is the place i have been living for past few years and this is uh, nerul basically nerul is uh, we basically stay between nerul and seewood somewhere so this is a wonderful place i am giving the area tour of my a residency let's go <sighs> amazing feeling man but the sad fact again is that i have to return this bike now i have to go to thane uh, going to thane is not a big deal because i would get uh, to ride this bike again but the thing is i had to return this this is a complete masterpiece and uh, talking about uh, people talk about the weight of royal enfield yes it is a problem but When you ride in this small roads now it is not that big of a problem because you can comfortably get off the mark see now this space is very less but i can oh. but i can uh, easily ride this bike the rickshaw wala was pretty much in his own trip i guess yes it is pretty much easy yes very easy 
I I have been uh, riding this bike, but I couldn't capture as much as I wanted to. Hey, this is the same dialogue from the Koken vlog, I guess. <laughs> A shortage of dialogues. <sighs> Amazing man. It feels uh, the same charm to ride in the gullies of Navi Mumbai as you feel the charm on the highways of Navi Mumbai. It's just the fe same feeling according to me. Both the things have their own uh, beauty because having a bike like this onto your hands even complicated things get to be more simpler the thought of riding the royal enfield and motor vlogging at the same time remain incomplete but i must say it gave a rise to the dream of owning a royal enfield <laughs>